Welcome. In this video, we demonstrate the proper technique to streak for isolated colonies on a rapid chromogenic agar plate. And today we will be using rapid salmonella and rapid almono as examples. I'm here in the food microbiology lab and I have ordered and received my ready to use plates. Here they are. Thank you. Plus, I've got my handy technical sheets so I don't forget what to do next. Thank you. Now, before we start, let's make sure the plates are dry and of course we always follow good laboratory practice. So let's begin with a rapid salmonella agar. The protocol used to streak these plates is the same for all of our other rapid chromogenic media with the exception of the listeria agars, and we'll get to that next. But for now, back to the salmonella. I've already prepared my food sample in the stomach of bag using the rapid salmonella short protocol. The enrichment was performed using a 1 to 10 dilution of the buffered peptone water supplemented with one capsule containing specific selective agents. I've incubated my enrichment sample for 18 hours at 41.5 degrees Celsius. Okay, let's get started. First, we take 10 microliters of the sample using the calibrated inoculation loop. Place the loop on the outside edge of the plate and streak the sample across half of the agar surface. Turn the plate one quarter turn and streak across the other half of the agar surface in relatively tight streaks over the whole dish, starting from the edge of the previous spread. It is important to obtain well isolated colonies for further confirmation. Now we will move on to the protocol for Listeria agars. Today we will be using rapid L mono as an example, but again the streaking protocol is the same for rapid Listeria species and AL agar, Ottavani and Agosti formula. We have already enriched our sample and we will take 100 microliters using a pipette and place it on the outside edge of the plate. Using a sterile loop, streak across half of the agar surface, going backwards and forwards twice. The goal is to spread the liquid as completely as possible across half of the agar. Turn the plate one quarter turn and streak across the other half of the agar surface in relatively tight streaks over the whole dish from the edge of the previous spread. It's very important to obtain well isolated colonies for further confirmation. Now place all plates in the incubator for 24 hours at 37 degrees. Luckily, I happen to have some plates here that have already been incubated. So we can see typical salmonella colonies in magenta. And here on the rapid L mono plate, we can see the typical blue colonies of Listeria monocytogenes. Biorad's rapid chromogenic media are easy to read, aren't they? And now that we have well isolated colonies on the plate, we can use them for further analyses, such as serological analysis, molecular identification, or biochemical testing. And don't forget, Biorad has a complete range of chromogenic media. So please visit biorad.com forward slash rapid media for more details, and remember to subscribe to the Biorad Life Sciences YouTube channel. See you next time.